kita akan mendengarkan presentasi selanjutnya dari seorang siswi lagi. Dari Win Failing Kanaila Winarso Grade 5. Faye ini akan mengambil SUD number 13 mengenai climate action dengan target improve education, awareness rising and human and institutional capacity on climate change reduction. Silakan ke Faye. Global warming. Now Why should we care about this? This is the this is the temperature in 1885. So as you can see, it's all cool and cold. But as you can see, in this temperature, it's all heated up. As you can see, the Earth has been increasing. The temperatures has been increasing very dramatically. So what about Indonesia? It is predicted that by 2040, Indonesia's temperature will increase by one degree Celsius. And in Jakarta, during the dry season there, it's around 35 degrees. And it is also predicted to be in the next 20 years to be increased by one degree as well. Can you imagine what it would be like in the next 100 years during the dry season of Jakarta? 40 degrees, and it would be the same for at least six months. So how did it happen in the first place? What are the causes of global warming? There are many causes of global warming, and one of them is deforestation. Trees absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen. In Indonesia, we lose around 500,000 hectares of trees annually. So that means if there's less trees, there will be a very limited amount of oxygen and clean air for us. Indonesia ranks the third for the most tropical forested country. But unfortunately, it's ranked the second for the most deforested country. Shocking, isn't it? We also release tons of greenhouse gases. We release carbon dioxide when we use electricity. Methane comes from livestock, and nitrous oxide comes from artificial fertilizers. In fact, Indonesia ranks the third country that causes the most gas emissions in the world. Shocking, isn't it? Now you might think, how are these actions going to affect us? One way it could affect us is rising sea levels. Since it's global warming, it can cause the ice in the poles to melt, causing the sea levels to rise. Indonesia has around 17,000 islands, but as you can see, by 2030, 2,000 of those islands will be submerged because of global warming. As you can see in these pictures, this was the amount of ice that was in 1984, and only 30 years later, you can see that the area of ice has decreased by a lot. This picture was taken in North Jakarta in 2017. And of course, we don't want that to happen to our homes, right? So, what can we do? Did you know that the most simplest acts can reduce or even reverse global warming? It just starts from yourself. You can use less hot water. Jakarta is already a hot water city. You don't need hot water just to shower. You can save electricity by turning off the lights when you leave a room, or pull off the plugs when your device is already fully charged. You can change your light bulb to LED. It might be more expensive than a normal light bulb, but it can save electricity and save the world. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Start at your home or school. Reuse as much plastic bags and plastic bottles as much as you can. Reduce the amount of paper you use because the more paper you have to use, the more trees you have to cut down. Plant a tree. A while ago, we went to Kampung Jamu and given a plant to take care of. Starting from a small plant, it can grow into a tree and save the world. And last but not least, encourage others to conserve. Share your ideas with your friends, your neighbors, and even your coworkers. The earth is crying. We have made mistakes by causing the earth suffering and we'll turn it back for our future generation. We are here to heal, not harm. We are here to love, not hate. And we are here to create, not destroy. We can heal the world together in unity. We can. Thank you. <laughs> 